In the late 1940s, the abstract expressionist painter Barnett Newman started making these paintings that um, he basically referred to as zips. Uh, large canvases with a single stripe or more kind of painted through them. The stripe is kind of like a structural device. It's not really a stripe. It's almost like a seam. But they're really simple. They're like a precursor to minimalism or geometric min minimalism and hard edge painting and stuff like that. I'm sorry, I have a life saver in my mouth and it's really obnoxious. So I'm gonna spit it out. Okay, so they're like a precursor to minimalism and hard edge painting and all that kind of stuff from the 60s and 70s. Um, but if we were being really brutal, they're kind of a gimmick. Um, and he painted them for a long time. Dude died in 1970, so he's making these paintings of stripes basically for 20 years. Um, and one of the things that I think you can wonder about, because the degree to which I could just dismissively describe them, kind of it gives you an insight into, you have to be pretty confident to be painting stripes for 20 years, and not even stripes. Basically two planes of color, and a single strip down it. And in some instances, like I think the Stations of the Cross, they might be just raw canvas with a black stripe down the middle. They're not down the middle, but down it. Whatever. I think it takes a pretty high degree of confidence to execute on such a simple idea for so long. And without really knowing Barnett Newman, um, who was dead before I was alive, I think we can kind of get into the like, what gave him the confidence to do that? Well, the first thing is he knew what he was after. He was a man on a mission. He wanted to make a new painting, like a new kind of painting, um, probably a high degree of um, kind of egomania. Like he wanted to be known as being the guy who made the new painting. Um, and everything he did was kind of set around that. There's lots of pompous letters he wrote about other people's work, about them being Philistine or whatever. Um, a lot of question marks, uh, famously dissing Robert Rauschenberg uh, for, for feeling like he was kind of making fun of painting. Uh, so he's like a very, he was a very loud, opinionated person, at least in print. But what he did was um, he brought so, he was on a mission and uh, he had a, a thing that he was trying to do, which was to make these new paintings and to be the sort of um, the face or one of the faces of this new painting. Like he was on a mission. And I think you can take um, that idea and that's gonna be one thing that's gonna give you a lot of um, commitment to a course of action. like. If you think you're on a mission from God, you're, you're gonna behave differently than like if you're me, who pretty much just is trying to do whatever he feels like repetitively and pass the time in an enjoyable, gratifying way um, that it feels like it brings a little bit of value to people. But like, I'm not on a mission from God. Okay, so that's part one. That drive is gonna give you a lot of confidence if you know that you want to get somewhere new, you're going to be willing to do some crazy stuff to do that, including like basically make stripes um, and kind of be the, one of the people forming maybe the end of painting. The other thing though, is it's not like Barnett Newman didn't sit down and conceptualize one day, hey, I'm just going to put a stripe down this painting. Somehow, or other he kind of stumbled upon that who knows if it was like something he saw in the real world or if it was an accident in his own work um, but it was process that got him to that point it was not ideation it was not sitting in a room and thinking hard or going for a walk and thinking hard about the topic he worked he worked and he worked and he worked like all artists probably burning through 
styles and periods and history and who knows what other sort of micro periods of Barnett Newman exist prior to the zip paintings. But he worked. There's a depth and a breadth of process and that leads to confidence. Um, that, and that just can't be understated. Like something as simple as that zip, when you've put in the work and you see it, you're gonna, you're gonna know like, oh shit, that's something. There's something here. So it, and it always comes down to process. I mean, it's like just so interesting, like just putting in the work is gonna help you to recognize when some seemingly simple, potentially gimmicky thing happens, that it works. Last week, I made a video that was called something like how to start if you're old. And it was about the idea that you can be in touch with reality and be thinking about the fact that um, because you're old, you know that it's gonna take a while to do something or to get good at something. But you also gotta own the fact that being old is also gonna mean that you have a wealth of references to compare the work to. And so even if you don't have the technical skills, you hopefully have the eye. Um, or like, you know, I think that, well, like I was working on a song yesterday and there was a sound and it was weird and screwed up, but it was like exactly the sound that, not I was looking for, but I just knew it was something. It was like special. That, that comes from, I think, age. It comes from just, you know, who knows how many thousands of hours of listening to music and kind of pouring over the details. So, experience, depth of references, and a mission, and that's what gave Barnett Newman that confidence. Um, and I, I imagine that mission is probably why he executed against such a simple concept for so long, um, as opposed to maybe someone like Ger Gerhard Richter who takes painting very seriously, but I don't get the impression that he's on a mission from God. And maybe as such, that allow that's why he's so, uh, not erratic, but con uh, eccentric in his, uh, in his output, it's all over the place. Maybe when you're on a mission from God, you just do one thing, and you kind of drive it into the ground. I don't know. But that's my theory on where the, the confidence to distill everything down to such a simple gesture comes from. Thanks a lot for watching.